So we're here at uh, Computex, and uh, so who are you? My name is Dan Shi. I'm the founder of the Acer Computer. I'm also the founder of the Computex. When so, I was the chairman of the Taipei Computer Association. So founder of Acer. Uh, so how is it possible that Taiwan is is designing so many laptops? Like eighty percent of laptops, or yeah. what is the technology? How is it possible that Taiwan is so much in front of everybody else? Uh, I seen in 1976 when I found the Acer original called the Multitech. I think the microprocessor technology is critical. So. I try uh, promote those technologies to the society or to the industry, and then we train 3,000 of the engineers in Taiwan. So everyone like to participate in this new application opportunity. And of course, in 1983, we introduced the first uh, uh, PC compatible uh, products, and then they create and a lot of new opportunity based on that trend, including the chipset, including semiconductor manufacturer or display, and many, many other previous devices. So this is the reason uh, I think is a play an important role on this uh, development. But in the same time, the entrepreneurship here and also the small, medium-sized enterprise uh, active activity also make this uh, ecosystem a cluster for Taiwan become so critical role in the popularity of the uh, PC, including notebook, etc. So, what do you think is the role of Taiwan today? Compared, how do you compare it now compared to those times before? Like, is it going crazy now? Much more things are happening. And there's so many new fields. You're talking about IoT. Yes. The smartphone is bigger than PC now, right? Right. right. So it's a big, big change in the last few years. I think the base on the PC era, we build up a lot of uh, cluster, the infrastructure goods for the huge all type of ICT application. So including the boundary service for semiconductor, including a lot of IC design and also device design capability. And, and now for IoT, then we need a lot of application software and also the service. And I believe Taiwan, the culture of the entrepreneurship will make this new opportunity become one of the major players in the world because the law we play is really uh, make all the partnership. We can work with everyone. And uh, actually, we also own some of the competence. Many of the people, they have to partnership with Taiwan. American company, Japanese, European company, they have to work with Taiwan in order to make a more uh, effective of the solution for the market requirement. So, so you have all the talents, you have the talents, but you need investment, you need funds to make things happen, right? Right. Do you, uh, does Taiwan always have the right investment, the right time to make the new, you know, like, not wait for Apple to do something, but do it first, you know? Uh, I think Taiwan, because local market is very small, we are now in the position to lead the market definition in the past. But Taiwan may become a leading uh, innovative on new service or products for the Chinese marketplace for quali better quality of life because market is the driving force for the innovation. And I believe with a lot of capability, competence in Taiwan, they have a great opportunity to support the many of the Western player for their, uh, uh, realize their innovation opportunity but in the same time, Taiwan are going to have opportunity to lead the world for leverage the uh, marketing size in Chinese uh, market 
and then we can make that available for the Western society. This, but this takes maybe 20, 30 years later. It takes time. You need a lot of new competence, not so capable in Taiwan right now, but it can, can be done because market is a driving force for new op- This innovation. market, you need to move fast, no? Yes. Like the, the market is moving so fast, uh, in two or three years, everything changed, no? Yes. So how I do you think the flexibility and the speed is the nature, the culture of the Taiwan. It's not a challenge to Taiwan. Challenge to Taiwan is Taiwan market is too small, very, very small.